Okay, this is a dissection of a frog. This type of frog is called a grass frog. And uh, when you first get your frog, what you want to do is take a look at the external anatomy. Some things that you need to pay attention to um, are, first of all, the tympanum. The tympanum is a structure right behind the eye here. And we've got one on either side. And that structure there is to pick up sound vibrations. Okay, so it's like an eardrum, kind of. Um, other than that, we've got the nares, the external nares, or we would call them a nostril, but on the frog it's called the nares. Okay, so that's external nares. Aside from that, the kids can just check out the, the structure of the frog. Um, the other thing that's kind of gross, but it's got, uh, in the back end, I mean the kids will notice pretty quick, whoa, what the heck is this critter? Right? It actually has only a, it's called a urogenital opening, or a cloaca. And, uh, from this opening is where, it doesn't matter if it's a male or a female, it's going to uh, release its genetic material, sperm and eggs from there. It's also going to excrete from there, so it's like an all-purpose opening. Anyways, it's back there, if they're wondering how the thing pees. Okay, um, so that's pretty much it. They can check out the, you know, the, the feet and how they're all put together. Um, something else that they're going to want to look at is, they're going to be wondering, what, is this a male or a female or what? We can tell from the inside, but another way you can tell is by looking at the thumb pad here. Now, I don't think this one is a male. I think it's a female because on a male, and this one is a male, you can see that these thumb pads are quite large, right? And they're quite dark. Uh, so the males have the larger thumb pads there, okay? So that's the main reason why I think this one's a female. Um, but we'll find out once we get in this thing. Now, the first thing, third, first place they're going to go is inside the mouth. Okay? And the easiest way for the kids to do this is just stick your finger in there so you can get it open and then snip it on either side. And then it should open up really easy. Okay? Uh, sometimes they have a little bit of debris in there. You can just clean off. Nothing too major. Now, a lot of the times the kids will go, oh, there's something wrong with the tongue. It's wrecked, it's cut in the back. Well, they're actually not attached in the back, they're attached in the front. And which is quite functional for the frog uh, when it's alive and this thing can actually move around. Right now, obviously, they're just like rubber because everything is contracted and they're um, in a preservative. But when they're alive, obviously, this has a lot of flexibility. It's a muscle, so it can stretch and, uh, and get shorter as well. Okay, so that's the tongue. Some other things that they're gonna um, uh, pay attention to here are the teeth. They, now they don't have teeth for cutting or chewing. Uh, they have two different types of teeth and they're both for holding on to their prey. You can, probably can't see it very well and that's okay but there's two little bumps right in this area right here. They're called the vomerine teeth. And they're just two little bumps. Aside from that we have this ridge that goes all the way around here and when they put their fingers, kids put their fingers on it, it's quite bumpy. Okay, lots of little bumps in there. And again, that increases the amount of friction so they can hold on to their critter. Okay, and these are the maxillary teeth, this row of, of, uh, of teeth, as it were. Now, remember I, we talked about the nostrils or the external nares, where there's an internal nares as well. And these holes right here and here, they're basically just an opening right to the outside. And let's see if I can do this. Should come out right. There we go. So it's just basically a hole that goes all the way through. Okay, so that's the nares. Uh, a couple other things to uh, pay attention to here. On either side here, we've got a hole there and a hole there called the, use, the opening to the eustachian tube. And the eustachian tube, we actually have one of those and among other things, it helps with balance. So that's the opening to the eustachian tube. Um, also, like us, frogs are, are lung breathers, so they should have two holes in their mouth, right? One for the air, which is the trachea, and here's the opening to the trachea. There's a little bulge here, and you can actually force it open. Um, see the little hole there? Slit, I should say. That's the opening to the um, trachea. And then right behind it, at the back of the mouth, um, is the opening to the esophagus, and if the kids want to probe a little bit, they could actually probe it all the way into the stomach once they have this guy open, just to see. Okay? And that's pretty much all for the mouth. And once we've got that figured out, they've uh, uh, handled that, then we gotta, we got to get this guy open. 
or girl I should say, that's my prediction. Now the kids are going to need to cut it right from the base all the way up to about here. Now usually what happens is kids they're a little timid and they do a little snip here and they start cutting thinking that they're doing a good job but actually they're not getting into anything right because oh. it's just muscle here um, so they actually have to get through that layer as well okay so they have to get through the muscle layer this requires a little snip then when they're cutting they need to make sure they're lifting as they cut Oops. so they don't cut any major organs that we want to look at a little later on okay so they're gonna go all the way up it's a little tough here because you're cutting through bone, right? So you're going to go all the way to the top, okay? Now we got to cut to the side. Sometimes kids are like, oh, okay, now we just want to look inside, but they won't be able to see much because it's not that open, right? We need to open this frog all the way up so we can have a good look. And this is how you do it. You take this side over here, again, trying not to cut anything major, and you cut it all the way to the bottom on both sides. It's like CSI. Something like that. <laughs> okay, so all the other base. And then down here you do the exact same thing. Again, make sure you're lifting before you cut so you don't wreck anything. And then you'll see how, uh, how nicely this opens up here.